Okay, we start our lessons on data compression. And what is data compression? It is some, let's say, process which we use to make our information or our image or whatever to weight less. For example, this is an image of two letters I am image which weighs 3 megabytes. So we will use data compression to make it weight less, let's say 1 megabyte. There are two main branches of data compression. This will be lossless and lossy. Lossless means that we do not lose any information during the compression. We use the redundancy of data. Good example is, let's say, we have three pixels which are white. We don't need to encode them as three pixels. We can encode them like three and white. Where three refers to number of pixels and W refers to the color or with whatever color we want, let's say it will be red, we will encode it as 3R, which refers to 3 pixels of red color. And lossy compression is such a way of comp data compression where we lose some information. Good example will be we have an image of some village on the horizon. This is a big building, this is small bushes or whatever, a river. And human eye perceives shapes better than small details. Let's say we have here in this region some small details which are for real and not so important for us to determine what's actually happening on the image. Okay, our first definition. Compression ratio. This is date this is amount of uncompressed data divided by compressed. Typically it can be forty to one in lossless. In lossy compression it can be four hundred to one or even one thousand to one. It depends on the methods we use to compress our data. And actually, lossy compression can compress much, much better than lossless version of compression. Next definition is bitrate. Actually, it's the size of our data divided by amount of our data. Which means that, uh, for example, 8 bits, 3 pixels. So amount is 3 pixels and size is 8 bits. So what is actually encoding? This is like a process where we assign some code words to our source words. Let's say source words. This is our source alphabet. A, B, C. And A is our code. This is source. Code alphabets. So ABC is our source alphabet and uh, code alphabet will be 0, 01, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. This is absolutely arbitrary chosen source and uh, code alphabets. 
and the encoding process will assign some values or some uh, code words from code alphabet to source words from source alphabets. This will mean that A in our A after encoding will be 0, 1, B after encoding will be 0, 0, 1, and C after encoding will be 0, 0, 1, 1. This leads us to a very important concept. What, what is encoding scheme and what is encoding function? So, encoding scheme is some method or, again, process where we assign S to A source alphabet and code words alphabet. And there are some cases where we can use more than that. We can assign some code to a sequence of symbols. For example, we have A, B, C. We do not assign it separately, A to 0, 1, B to 0, 1, 1 or whatever. We assign the whole sequence of our symbols to some code. Let's say 0, 1, 0, 1. In this case, this will be encoding function. This is called encoding function. Later in our lessons, I will give it good examples of encoding schemes and encoding functions. And last for today's video, it's of course decoding. Decoding, it is like some process where we decode our so source word symbols from code word symbols. Let's say we've got something like that. A, B, C, this is source and A code word alphabet 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. And we have such code word sequence. We just search in our table in this case, in this particular case. What is assigned to A? 0, 1. What is assigned to B? This is 0, 1, 1, etc. We move in this direction and consequently reading symbol after symbol. Uh, the first step we've got 0 and the second step we've got 1, etc. We move in this direction and uh, after having the whole code we can check whether it can uh, the table contains it but here already we we see that this is ambiguous and we can decode our sequence uh, in two different ways we can decode it as 2a and uh, understanding why is it happening or or what to do with that etc we will talk about this in the next video